Thank you for that. Jamie, I think you were next. Uh, thank you, Convener. <coughs> um, I guess I just wanted to put some, some balance to this. Um, in principle, I have absolutely no problem with the concept of trying to regulate what is very clear to the officials, albeit it hasn't necessarily produced the prosecution numbers, uh, but there's very obviously bad practice occurring all across the coast, that particularly affects my region uh, in the west of Scotland. There are people out in reasonable sized boats catching fairly large quantities uh, of species and there is a black market in existence. We would be failing in our duty to pretend otherwise. So I think it's right that we do something to address that. Um, it's also right, however, as Rhoda and I think Mike points out, to protect the hobbyists. There are people who do catch and distribute locally amongst friends, family, possibly at no charge, possibly for a small charge. But I don't think those people are the problem that we're trying to tackle. I think it's the people who are acting as de facto commercial fishermen, but who are actually evading the, 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 the regulatory environment that the other proper commercial fishermen have to adhere to. And it is right that we try and tackle that. I think it's very welcome to hear that the enforceability of it has some discretion. My, the only problem really I have with this uh, 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 is, uh, and I think it comes back to the numbers that, that Rhoda points out, is that on paper, they're breaking the law if they're caught with two lobsters, on paper. In practice, the enforce, enforcement uh, agency will take a view on the day whether it's, they will be able to read the situation, I guess. That's what they're used to doing. These, they, you know, and often they know who the stakeholders are. Uh, so I get that, and I have full confidence in your ability to do that and your team's ability to do that, Mr. Robertson. But the problem is uh, law is black and white. So on paper, they are breaking the law. And that's, I don't want to put hobbyists in a position where they have broken the law by catching two or three lobsters. And that's what we would be doing through this. But I fully want to support you and indeed the Cabinet Secretary in what he's trying to achieve by, by uh, putting a stop to this, you know, the, this, this sort of black market industry. That's where I'm struggling with this. I don't know if there's a better way we could do it. I, I want to support your measures, but I don't want to, on paper, sign a piece of legislation off which uh, makes something illegal to have two or three lobsters in, in, in your catch. That, that is my only concern with this. I think that is the point, is, is that this is about enforceability. And, uh, you know, I think, it does there have to be a number? Uh, and that's a, a point I, I'm not sure on. Uh, you know, is it one, two, three? We could argue all day about the number and what constitutes commercial versus hobby. That, I don't think that's really the, the way to do it. Um, it, it, is it, it. How can you legislate for, some, for something which is then a discretionary uh, decision made at the time. So, should, should, is, there other, is there another way of wording this that it should be at the discretion of the enforcement officer, or, or reasonable numbers? Or, you know, what is a reasonable catch? What is not a reasonable catch? You know, by saying it's one, two, or three, you've immediately created a line. You're on the right side of the line or the wrong side of the line. Uh, I, I, that's what I'm, I'm un, un, unhappy with. But I, I, that's not saying I, I don't want to address the problem.